Hello everybody and welcome to a new little mini tutorial series that I'm doing on my channel all about forestry's bees. A lot of people seem to uh, not like bees or turn away from bees uh, for a couple few misconceptions that I'll explain in a little bit but I just want I'm here to show you guys why bees are cool uh, everything you can do with bees from automating them to what they produce to the trees you can get from them to just everything involving forestry. So if you are here because you want to learn bees, awesome. If you are here because you want to learn trees, even better, but that'll be towards the uh, end of this series. And overall, I hope you guys just enjoy this. So first, let's clear up a few misconceptions about forestry bees. They are a lot of work. Okay, well... To begin, yes, I guess you could say that bees can be a lot of work. But really, once you automate them, you could step away from them and in a half hour come back and have like four stacks of lapis. I mean, I've done that before on a server. Uh, you get a couple of lapis bees, get them all set up, come back later and you're just swimming in lapis. Super awesome, super nice. Another misconception is that uh, they don't produce anything. Well. That's completely false, because just come in here and uh, type in drone or princess and you'll see all of the bees that we have here. And I'm going to show you two examples of things that bees can do in a sec. But just the saffron drone, I just picked him up. Uh, I can see what he's used for just by pressing U on your uh, NEI screen. If you want to see how to make him, you can press R and you can see the uh, recipe to make him. But the saffron drone is used to make... Uh, tinted comb and honeycomb and the tinted comb can make uh, tinted honey which can be used to squeeze into honey and you get yellow dye so just one random bee and you can get honey and yellow dye how awesome is that I think that's really cool if you don't think that yellow dye is that important well let me show you just a quick little bee that I like called the diamandy bee this guy once you breed him has a six percent chance of giving you a diamond shard this diamond shard is made nine, di nine diamond shards to make one diamond. Now, you might say, oh, well, a 6% chance, that's not that much. Well, what I'm going to show you how to do is how to basically duplicate that bee, and you could have 20 diamandy bees just sitting running, and uh, that's going to make the diamandy shards a lot easier to get. So first, before we get started on how to get your bees and start yourself setting up, I'm going to show you two more examples of awesome things bees can do. Okay, I'm outside here, and uh, let me just put myself back into survival mode so you can clearly see this. I can see I'm level 3, and oh, my experience levels are just going up. Why is that? Well, this little guy in here, the Edenic Bee, is awesome because he has a certain characteristic called the Adventurer Effect. And basically what he'll do is just sit here and give you XP if you're in range of him. Now, you might say, oh, well that XP is not going up too much, what's the purpose of breeding him? Imagine 10 of these guys just sitting right here. The XP is going to go up a lot, and you could just sit there, collect the XP, store it into tanks using open blocks. Super awesome bee, uh, and honestly very easy to make. It's just a tropical and an exotic. Uh, which is tropical austere. We'll get into more of that in the future. Let me just show you two more super awesome bees. Well, I decided to go with three awesome bees instead. We have the lapis bee that I had talked about, and he simply makes uh, lapis combs, which have a 100% chance to give you six lapis every time you get a lapis comb. So that's super awesome. We also have the monastic queen, which uh, you go to see what he's used for, and oh, wheat and comb and mellow comb. Wheat and comb gives you wheat. Oh, what a big deal that is. Well, let me tell you, these uh, mellow combs, they give you nether quartz. And is there anything better than having something just sit there and produce what I think is one of the best building blocks in the game? I think that's awesome. And then we also have the energetic queen. And uh, he's not running right now because I've screwed up the flowers. But the Energetic Queen uh, gives you a 12% chance of producing an Energetic Comb. And this gives you Redstone. And we all know that we always need Redstone. So this is the perfect bee to have because he just sits there and produces Redstone for you. How awesome is that? So now I want to show you guys how to really get started in bees in forestry. Okay, in my opinion, the best place for you to start in forestry is by simply having a wheat farm. I know it sounds really stupid, but a lot of the things in forestry are going to require seeds 
uh, specifically seed oil, which you make from putting seeds into a squeezer. I'll show you guys that uh, in a future episode. But once you get a nice wheat farm set up, you can start collecting uh, excess seeds that you have, and you can end up getting a nice pile up of them to make uh, some seed oil to make our bee housing stuff. So that's pretty awesome. And I just wanted to show you uh, the trees from forestry that you can make. Uh, there are a lot of different types of trees. I'll just type in sapling and you can see just how many you can breed using forestry. Uh, but they're all over. They come in different sizes, different shapes. They give you different wood. So just take a look at this right here and we'll see the uh, horn beam, beam wood. It's a nice like tan color. I think that's really cool for builders out there that want different colored planks. This is the place to be because there's a ton of different uh, plank colors. Simply you could see plank. Ton of different colors. I know that some of these are from a different mod, but these are mostly all forestry. Uh, so very cool different colors of uh, trees. Now it's time to really get started. How do we get our first bee? Well, I have set up already in the house a little crafting recipe for the uh, starter tool of apiarists the scoop very simply made with a uh, wool and six sticks you can get your scoop it doesn't have a very high durability but it should be noted that if you do have thumbcraft installed in your mod pack that you can make a thaumium scoop which has a much longer durability and i would highly recommend getting the thaumium over the regular now in the wild you're gonna find a bunch of beehives and i honestly prefer finding them at night because as you can see, they're kind of giving off light right now. So if you do have a mini-map installed, you can usually just look on there. And if you see patches of light, then you know that there's going to be a beehive there. So there's a lot of different ones that you can see here. Uh, we have the Rocky, which is going to give you Rocky, Princess, and Drone. should be noted that I just broke the uh, hive with the scoop. If you were to break it with your hand or any other tool, it would break. Unless it's broken by a quarry or a... Uh, laser drill from IC2. That should be noted. So now you break this, you can get some uh, watery bees. This is a hive in the nether, which gives you some embittered, nasty bees. Uh, let me just put myself back into creative. I don't really need to deal with these guys. Do a set time dawn and uh, get this all set up here. Uh, he's going to be annoying. So then this one, I know that when I break it, it's not going to show them. But that was a forest hive, which is going to give you some forest bees. We also have the marbled hive the Meadows Hive, the, let's see how good I am, Unusual Hive, I believe, the Something Hive, Swampy Hive, Wintry Hive, Jungle Hive, Desert Hive, and another Hive. So a lot of different hives are going to give you a ton of different stuff, but besides giving you just bees, there's also a chance that they're going to give you some kind of comb. And as you can see, there's a ton of different combs that you can get. Uh, the most simple of those is the regular honeycomb wherever that may be, right here. And the honeycomb is simply used to uh, get some honey and some beeswax. I know I just tried to show that and failed epically, don't judge me. But they can give you uh, beeswax and honey, which starts kind of your expedition into bees. So I think we're going to wrap off the episode right here. Now, I know it's not a lot to start with, but in the next episode we're going to talk about placing bees in their houses. There's three different kinds of houses that I'll show you right now. There's the simplest bee house, which is made uh, very easily with just one of these combs and some wood. There's also the apiary, which is made from wood slabs, as you can see again. Well, this impregnated casing, which is going to need the seed oil and the carpenter. That's why we want to get the seeds. And then we also have the uh, alviary which is a huge multi-block structure made from a ton of different stuff, and we'll definitely get into how to do that in the future. So thank you for guys for watching. If you enjoyed this and can't wait for the next episode, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys can learn something about bees here soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!